Right, it's slash day today. We're up at Ride, running some 2S, 5000s, 45Cs. Get in a few laps. It's been a bit rainy lately and hot, cold, hot, cold, raining. So, good to uh, test out these new fans as well. See how much of a difference it makes. So let's get these body clips in. Get her up and running. So I've had a few breakages on the slash lately. A couple of drive shafts, three of them have gone. Um, so I've been waiting on some parts to come from America. So they've all come in, so be good to uh, get this guy going. Drift it up. We turn in. It's really uh, starting to get dusty on the edges. Got to get my line in. Feather that throttle, get it drifting nicely. It's a fun track this one, it's quite dusty and slippery, it's not too harsh on the trucks. Whee. get it dialed in. I'm running some uh, the Proline trenches. The old Badlands are starting to get a bit, a bit bald. So I think this track actually prefers the Badlands. It's got a bit more side grip. It's just got a lot of forward bite. Once you get off, uh, start getting the back out and drifting, it tends to um, not, not hook up as well. But maybe because it's a bit slippery, but I'm not, not sure. There's a few ruts starting to happen around the back there. A bit of a... Whee. Funny bump that one over there. I mean, a slash is never going to be a racer, but it still goes quite well. Dial in a bit more camber on it. So it goes good around the turns, it's just a matter of the of driving it. So I get a bit of a line happening. Whee.
Interested to see how these fans will make a difference. Burn a good uh, solid battery. Lots of wide open throttle. Previously, I wouldn't be able to nearly touch the motor. It'd be so hot. So. Whee. <laughs> that was a bit of a dodgy landing. Yeah. Three. Three. Smooth landing, that one. Wee. A little bit slippery, but let's get used to it. Get some. So I've dialed in some more camber on this guy to uh, help with the turning. Just a little bit of body roll. Slippery over there. <laughs> really slippery. So it's been about 30, 30 degrees lately, so it's cooled down a bit. Now I've got a bit of rain, which is good. Beautiful. Alright, so we had a bit of a breakage just before. Flying down the back section of the track. Hook it around the last turn along the straight. The wheel popped off uh, the side and there's a huge log that was hanging out which seemed to clean up this bottom wheel here which has snapped off this A-arm here so looks like I remove this front bumper and uh, swap around this bottom pin here it goes into the block and uh, change this A-arm I do have a spare one luckily so I'm going to go swap that around, get this guy fighting fit. There's three more batteries to run. So uh, i have charged up two more here. So these guys have got a little bit of charging to go. So I'll get this A-arm swapped around, get this guy fighting All right, so this guy's fixed again. One of the important parts you need to keep on hand is drive shafts, A-arms, shock towers, and uh, turnbuckles for the cambers and things like that. So 
that was a flat knackers along the straight hit a piece of wood that was sticking out on the side snapped it off so it's an easy fix only took five minutes so get the wheel back on get the nut back on get the body cover back on and this guy will be ready to rock and roll again so happy days